if you're programming a lot of Danfoss cases for a startup or something like that, that saves you hours. So that programming tool, which is not super expensive, fits in the slot on the controller where your communications card fits. You pull out the communications card, which is yeah, just under that sticker there, carefully, preferably using the little hole in the corner so that you don't bust that chip that's right near the top of it. And then the, the programming tool slides into the controller and you can either use that to extract all the settings out of a controller you know to be good, or you can use it to drop settings into a controller that you want to set up. And it takes like 30 seconds to go through its cycle and you've got a fully programmed controller. Even if you don't know what settings should be in that case, if you haven't got that information to hand, you can suck all that information out of the case next door. And if that case next door is working, you are pretty sure that one's going to work on those settings and it will get you going. It's an absolute massive labor saver if you're setting up loads of cases. All you need to then set is a parameter called 003, which is the LON address, which is how the front end panel identifies it. And you can then see your parameters on the front end and that will make your life a lot easier. EKA 183, that is, you can, you can Google that and find one to buy on the internet.